time to start romanticizing summer. First step, we have good thoughts when we wake up. So much of it is in the mindset. So instead of thinking, oh my God, I have to wake up. So annoyed I have to wake up. I don't want to wake up right now. I don't want to get up. Switch that to, I'm very lucky that I get to wake up today. What can I do today that will make me feel good? That will make me feel excited? I am looking forward to my breakfast. I'm looking forward to etc. etc. But yeah, what am I looking forward to today? To keep those good vibes going, after I have good thoughts, I'm gonna read. My phone and me have an unhealthy friendship and I keep going on it first thing and it does make me feel good, so. Instead, we read. Contemplating all my time My thoughts make me tired Just running through my mind Wonder if there's peace that I can find I was re-watching The Summer I Turned Pretty and I just had this like epiphany moment where I felt all of these movies and films that I watch around summertime romanticize summer so much and make summer look so exciting and fun. I myself am a winter girl but this year I really want to embrace summer. I just want to romanticize it. I want to live like my favorite movie characters and I just want to appreciate the little things that summer brings that winter doesn't have. I think every season has its pros and its cons and things you can love and things you dislike but I want to embrace it and I want to love it and I want to romanticize it. I have always been a big advocate for romanticizing your life. I just never had the word for it when I was a younger like teenager. I've always appreciated those like little things that just make me very happy in my everyday whether it's my morning morning coffee, reading a book in bed, open my window for some fresh air, just all of those little things I've always really appreciated. But sometimes obviously life gets in the way and you get kind of caught up in things and you kind of forget that you're lucky to be waking up this morning and you're lucky to have a home and you're lucky to have a roof over your head and you're lucky to be breathing air in your lungs and, and it's okay that sometimes we forget that we're lucky for that but it's good to remind ourselves of that and I think romanticizing always helps. I always feel like Joe from the TV show You when I wear a cap like this, which is so annoying because I love caps. But anyway, yes, I'm here in Ireland. It is a cloudy day, but I'm not gonna let that stop me from romanticizing summer because it is, it is summer. Also, I would just like to add, it is a privilege to be able to romanticize life without a doubt. That is something that we are lucky to be able to do because for so many people, they're thinking of so many other things than that. But if you can, take a little bits from this video that work for you, make them work for you and your situation and in your life. So yeah, let's go. So this is my summer scent. This is Lazy Sunday Morning and it's from Replica. This is a little bit of a pricey perfume, but I always think it's really nice to have like a scent that you change up with the seasons. So much of me changes when the seasons change. So I really like to have a nice summer scent that feels different to my winter one. My winter one's a bit heavier. This smells like fresh bed sheets, a beach walk, literally a lazy Sunday morning is exactly what this smells like. This is what I picture the Nancy Myers film, Something's Gotta Give, smelling like. Her house in the Hamptons, this is what I think that house would smell like, like exactly 
this is what I would picture. So you don't have to change everything when it comes to seasons, but if you want to change your blush within your makeup to make your makeup feel a little bit different, or if you want to change your perfume, you can do one of those, you can do a few other things, you can change the color of your bed sheets, you can add one or two little decorations to your room. It's just nice to kind of have a scent and have like a feel of something changing, something new, something fresh, so yeah. have some coffee and some breakfast now. This is one of my favorite mugs. I love it so much. I just have uh, Americano, just a black coffee, no milk, no sugar. I'm hardcore like that. They're also getting smaller and smaller, so eventually I'm just gonna be drinking espressos at this point. Do you wanna see? Delicious. Come on, so turn the key. In cooler on this a pause for relief. I'm getting all the vibes set for watching the four episodes of Bridgeton tonight. But now I get to set up my protector. It's also very exciting because this is gonna be the first thing I watch on my brand new LG Cinebeam Q projector. I love projectors, you guys know that, so Let's go! So this is a 4K laser projector, which is insane. I'm so excited to see the quality on this thing because the aesthetic of it wins. Like, I think this is the prettiest projector I've ever seen in my life. This little handle makes it so easy to take it around on the go, but it is also a stand for the projector so you can tilt it at whatever angle you need it to go. I love it so much already. Let's get it set up. where a lot of little things have gone wrong and I have gradually gotten grumpier and grumpier as the day has gone on. It has also been a grey day. It is the middle of June and the weather in Ireland is particularly bad. I know us Irish love to complain about the weather but it's not funny at this point. We usually have at least two weeks of good weather by now and we've had nothing. Nothing! So I thought I'd sit down with you guys because I have been kind of all over the place the past few months. You guys know that I don't need to yap on about it. A lot has gone on in my life. And YouTube unfortunately has not been consistent because of that. And I feel like I have had a little bit of a disconnect. I just wanna sit down, be comfy with you guys. I haven't done my hair, no makeup on, I'm chilling. I have a friend. We should probably actually address this situation right here. This thing that's sitting on my bed. <laughs> this is Remy. Hi Remy. Say hi to everyone. And he is named after the rat from Ratatouille. You are welcome. What a fabulous name, I know. You might think there's just one of these little guys, but in fact, there's one right there as well. So one plus one equals two. There are two of them. Let me get my camera on and show you Seb. Seb is named after Ryan Gosling's character in La La Land. Obviously. Hi, Seb. He is fast asleep right now. Remy's trying to sleep, but I think I'm ruining the vibe for him. 
For those of you that don't know, I lost my gorgeous, gorgeous Earl, my kitten, last year. At the start of this year, sorry. I lost him very, very prematurely and it was honestly a very traumatic few months for me. It was just a really difficult time and I've also been going through a breakup during that. So I'm single for the first time in nine years. So truly life has been quite chaotic but in the last few weeks it started to feel like I'm kind of leveling out again and I'm kind of finding peace again which is nice. And then these two little guys came into my life. These are Earl's full brothers so I don't want to cry. Just having two pieces of Earl in my life at the moment is like has healed me in so many ways. They are such a bundle of fun and you guys will see them throughout my vlogs. But yeah, I thought I would introduce you to them. But right now, I wanna chat about romanticizing summer. So I wanted to tell you guys my little tips and tricks for romanticizing this summer. I wrote it in my notes app, of course, because I write everything there. And if anybody ever saw my notes app, I think I'd be absolutely mortified. Anyway. So number one tip is waking up an hour earlier. I'm gradually starting to do this as the summer is going on, but waking up about an hour earlier than you usually would is so much easier in summer anyway because it is brighter outside. Winter, I'm all about hibernating. I'm all about lying in bed an extra hour in winter if you can, but in summer I'm all about getting up an hour earlier. Mornings are so beautiful this time of year, even on cloudy days. When I say wake up an hour earlier as well, I don't mean you have to get up, go to a gym class, go do something and like do a really, really productive hour. I kind of mean wake up an hour earlier just to have that hour, just to be able to sit with that time. Whether you wanna get up and make yourself some tea but get back into bed, and read a book, scroll on your phone, watch YouTube. I really like the idea of waking up an hour earlier. I love to open my window so that I can hear the birds in the morning. I'm really lucky that that's the noise I can hear when I open my window. I'm trying to read a few pages as well during that time and then head downstairs and get some breakfast have a coffee and watch a YouTube video. It's just such a lovely little start to my morning and because it's an hour earlier, I'm not in a massive rush, but there's just something so slow and gentle about summer mornings. I love it so much. Are you gonna join us? Come on, Come on over. <laughs> oh, you're so sleepy. You're so sleepy. So number two is introduce some new. It doesn't mean you have to buy things. You can if you'd like. I really love to buy one or two bits of interior stuff for my bedroom that just gives it that kind of fresh new season feeling. I actually got two lovely new pillows for my bed from TK Maxx, which just feel fresh, they feel new, they feel clean, they feel summer, and it's a really nice little difference to my bedroom. I've also started buying myself some flowers every now and again when I can, because again, that just feels like such a thing to do in summer, and to have a bit of fresh pop of color and nature in your room. Stunning! Also new meals and new drinks. Switching up your regular food or your regular drinks to make them a little bit more seasonal is really nice. I love to try some new recipes. You can change your coffee for maybe iced coffee now. I love iced tea in summer. It tastes like summer to me now because I tend to have it this time of year. It's so good. Next is my absolute favorite and it is obviously watching films and TV that feel summery and inspire you for this time of year. So right now my absolute favorites, I love them so much. These two TV shows are my it is Bridgerton and The Summer I Turned Pretty. Of course, The Summer I Turned Pretty is the most iconic summer TV show for me right now. And I just finished re-watching it because obviously there's no season three out this year, which is devastating. But re-watching it was so, so much fun. And I just cannot wait for next year for the new season because I am Team Conrad. So last season was a very painful watch for me. And of course, Bridgerton. On Netflix, they originally started releasing this show at Christmas time, but it feels like such a summer TV show to me. I think it's just all of the bright colors. It's set in summer within the show, which also is such a big factor in me feeling like it's a summery show. So I'm really glad the new season has come out this time of year instead. I have so much to talk about with season three. You guys, I absolutely loved it. There's some things I wanna discuss, pros and cons to the season, 
so I'm gonna do a full video on that. So my fourth tip is to create a Pinterest board. This is probably the most obvious and the most simple, but it really does make such a big difference. It's just really lovely to be able to scroll Pinterest, see images that inspire you, get you excited, maybe get you appreciating those little things a little more. Going through Pinterest kind of reminds me of the simple little pleasures in life, seeing a photograph of a cute coffee or a notebook or something that reminds me of something I love. It's just a really wholesome place for me and it gives me so much summer inspiration. And it's just cultivating a feeling and a vibe that I wanna feel this summer. Honestly, sitting in this bed with fresh PJs on, fresh bed sheets, with my projector going and scrolling Pinterest, nothing, nothing compares. It's the most elite feeling ever. So my final tip and number five, which I think is the absolute most most important is change your mindset. It is a lot easier said than done to change your mindset, but doing it one little step at a time can make such a big difference. For example, I am from Ireland and our weather is not good. We're having a particularly bad summer and every day just feels kind of gray, dull, and it's like we're waiting for sun to come and it just isn't coming. And genuinely, you can feel it in the whole country. People are genuinely struggling with it because we've had such a long dark winter and then not to have a great summer it really really gets to people it can be difficult to see summer in such a good romantic fun light when you're not living in a place that has sun all day and you have a pool and you can swim and you can go for walks i try to remind myself to switch that mindset because even though it might be gray it might be cloudy we have incredible daylight here in Ireland. So it will not get dark here until 11, half 11, even 12 o'clock at night, which is insane. We have so much daylight to play with. It is a huge advantage. Of course, I would love for the sun to come out, but I'm trying to switch that mindset from more negative to more appreciative, more grateful, and romanticizing and seeing the good in what we have. I'm going to stop rambling now, however. I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys though because it's been a little while and I have missed you all so, so much. I'm really looking forward to chatting more on here. I think I was feeling very vulnerable for the last few months and very shy because I'm obviously in like a huge new era <laughs> of my life and a big change. And I think I've never felt more vulnerable than I have post breakup. I just felt like so fragile. So it's been difficult to like put myself on camera, but particularly to like put me and my personality and who I am on here. Um, so I've kind of been doing a lot of like cinematic shots and like not so much me in it, but I want to be in it more now. So. From me and my two gorgeous boys, I love you all so much. Say bye, boys. <laughs> I cannot believe this is my life. I'm so excited.